In today's video, I'll be unboxing and setting up the Canon PIXMA TS3722 all-in-one inkjet printer. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video, so feel free to check that out. So I've gone ahead and opened the box up. Let's see what's inside. The first thing I notice is a setup guide and a few other pieces of documentation. And next we have a package that contains the cables and cartridges. And next I'm going to remove these two cardboard and caps and then I place the box of the printer on its side on a flat table or surface so I can actually pull the printer out and then I'm gonna pull the printer out now I've gone ahead and removed the outer plastic packaging from the printer and next I'm gonna remove the shipping tape the orange shipping tape on the printer let's start with these pieces in the front there is a slightly wide orange piece on the right hand side pull on that to remove it and then we have a narrower piece on the left hand side pull on that that to remove that and you won't be able to remove it entirely because it extends into the cartridge compartment I'm going to open the cartridge compartment by opening up this panel and then I'm going to continue to pull on that orange tab till it releases from the inside of the cartridge compartment and it has a piece of foam attached to it and now that you have the cartridge compartment open you'll notice that there is another orange piece on the right hand side and we're going to remove that as well and for now we can close up that cartridge compartment and there's one last piece of tape to remove from the front and that's this orange piece of tape here and let's remove the protective film on the screen now I've turned the printer around and I'm going to remove the last two pieces of orange tape on the back. I'm going to open up the paper tray and then tug on this narrow piece of tape to remove it. And then I'm going to remove this wider piece of tape on the right hand side. And while we're working on the back of the printer, let's plug in the provided power cable into the jack on the back of the printer. And we'll plug the other end into a power outlet. And next we're going to power the printer on by pressing the power button. And once the printer boots up, we're going to proceed to install the cartridges. And to do that, let's start off by opening Opening up the cartridge compartment and once you open up the cartridge compartment you'll notice that the cartridge tray is available for us to load the cartridges and I'm gonna go ahead and lower these two locks the one on the right and the one on the left so I can actually load up the cartridges and before we install them we're gonna have to do a little bit of prep on these cartridges which are inside this cardboard box that we took out of the outer packaging. And these, in case you're wondering, are the 275 black and 276 color cartridges. And to prep these cartridges, I'm gonna peel off this piece of protective plastic packaging and remove the cartridge itself. And last but not least, remove this piece of protective tape from the contacts. And I'm gonna repeat the same process with the color cartridge as well. Peel that cover off, get the cartridge out, and then peel off this protective piece of tape. And as the sticker down here suggests, the color cartridge goes on the left and the black cartridge goes on the right hand side. So I'm gonna insert the color cartridge with the electronic contacts facing inward. You wanna push it into the slot and then pull up on the lock to lock it in place. And let's do the same thing with the black cartridge. We have the electronic contacts facing inward and I'm gonna insert it into the tray and then pull up on the lock to lock it into place. And now we're gonna close the door to the cartridge compartment and the cartridge then goes through its initialization process in the printer. And let's load some paper into the paper tray. And to do that, I'm gonna slide this paper guide all the way to the left, insert the paper into the paper tray, and then let's push the guide back towards the paper to align it correctly. And the rest of the setup on this printer can be done using a combination of a smartphone and a computer, if you choose to set it up using a computer. And I'll walk you through that process. But with these Canon printers, I generally prefer to set it up using a smartphone first to get it set up with my home Wi-Fi network before I set it up using a computer. Let's go ahead and do that. And the first step to setting it up using a smartphone is to go into your App Store. Now, if you're using an Android device, you can go into your Play Store and the setup process is pretty much identical. And I'm going to search for the word Canon. Hit search. And the app we're looking for is the Canon Print 
app and tap get to download the app and give it a few seconds to download. Once it's done downloading, tap open. And once it opens up, it asks you to agree to some terms and conditions. I'm going to tap agree on the checkboxes and then tap OK to agree to everything. And then it asks whether I'd like to allow print to track your activity across other companies, apps, and websites. I'm honestly not a big fan of this, so I'm gonna say ask app not to track, but it's entirely up to you. And then it asks whether I'd like to allow print to find devices on local networks. So I'm gonna tap allow, and then it gives me an option to search for available printers. So I'm gonna tap search. And the first time round, it doesn't seem to have located my printer, but it's asking me to enable location services. So I'm going to tap allow while using app and then tap OK on the next dialog box. And then it asks me whether I'd like to allow print to join the Wi-Fi network, that is the Wi-Fi network for this specific printer, tap join. And then it asks me whether I'd like the printer to be connected to the following wireless router. In this case, this is the home network that I use. So I'm gonna say yes. And then it asks you to enter the password for that network. So I've entered the password for my home Wi-Fi network and then tap OK. And then it says that it is communicating with the printer. And once it connects to my home Wi-Fi network, it displays a message that asks if I'd like to keep my printer up to date and whether I'd like to enable auto update. And I'm going to tap yes. And then it lets me know that I can check out the Canon website for more information about my printer. I'm going to tap continue. And then it lets me know that I can actually choose my favorite photo and try to print it. And I'm going to try to do this just to make sure the printer is working. And and before I print, I'm going to pull out the paper output tray. So I've selected an image I'd like to print and I'm going to tap print. And there you go. It's printed my test page and on the app it displays a message that says printing is completed. I'm going to tap OK. And then I'm going to close that page out by tapping on the cross on the top right hand corner. And then this brings you right back to the home page of the app. But this time you'll notice that all the way up top, your printer's name is displayed. And right under it, very importantly, is that green circle that lets you know that the printer is online. And this is pretty much all the setup you need to do to get your printer running and connected to a smartphone. So once you complete your setup process using an iPhone, the printer is far simpler to set up using a Windows computer, which is what we're going to do next. Next. And to do this, ensure that the Windows computer that you are using is connected to the same exact Wi-Fi network as your printer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to search for the Microsoft Store or the Windows Store. So go into your search bar on the left and search for store. And the first thing that comes up is the Microsoft Store. Click on that. And once the store opens up, we're gonna go in there and search for Canon Print. And you'll notice in your search results, you have the Canon Print app. Click on that. We're going to click get to begin installing that. And once it's done installing, click open and it displays a window where you're expected to agree to certain terms and conditions. I'm going to click check all and then click OK. And then it asks you if you'd like to learn more about Canon print and then you can click next and then click set up now to start setting up your printer. And then it says that it is processing. Not sure what it's processing. And then it asks to to let Canon Print access your precise location and location history, I'm going to hit yes. And then it says make sure the printer is turned on, which I've done, then click next. And it says that it is searching for printers. And because we've already connected the printer to our Wi-Fi network, it was very easy to find that printer, which you can see here, the TS3700 series. Click next. And then it asks you whether you'd like to connect to it via Wi-Fi which is what we prefer, click continue. And it says that it is connecting and the connection is successful. And it lets you know that it is downloading the latest software and drivers. And then it tells us that it is installing more drivers. And then it lets us know that the printer is being registered to my computer. And it goes through a couple more steps where it says it is processing. And then it lets us know that the connection settings and installation are complete. You can perform a test print if you choose to, or you can click next to proceed to the next step. 
and then it reminds us that you can visit the Canon website for more information on your printer. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to close this dialog box. And this then takes us to the home page of the app, which is very similar to the home page of the app on your iPhone. And the most important thing here is that our printer appears up top. That is the Canon TS3700 series. And very importantly, we see that green dot with the word online next to it, which lets us know that the printer is connected and ready to use. And this completes the Windows setup of the Canon TS3700 series. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're looking to buy this printer or cartridges for this printer, I'll leave a link right below the video. So feel free to check that out. Hope you found this video useful. If it was, please give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have any questions or concerns about this video, please leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.